Thank you for joining me on my tooling bench build. As you can see, I've laid out some poster board in the size of what the finished bench will be. This size is based on a piece of granite that I've had for a couple of years. It is 22 inches by 63 inches. Since I have a small area for my workshop, I've decided to also use this bench as a cutout table. So the overall size of the finished bench will be 48 inches by 63 inches. Since I'm not a cabinet maker, I went to Home Depot and purchased some pre-made cabinets. So for the base of the bench, I'm starting out with a 24 inch and 18 inch three door cabinet. So I've got these cabinets secured together with a three inch board in the front, a piece of three quarter inch plywood in the back. Um, after I've done this, I realized that the pre-made cabinets made out of particle board wasn't the best choice, but I'm gonna to continue to work with them for now. We'll see how the layout goes and probably in the near future, I'll rebuild these with actually uh, stronger plywood. Now I'm gonna move on to putting on the top. So for the top of the bench, I'm gonna be setting a piece of granite on here that again, it's 23 inches by 63 inches and it's three inch thick. It's gonna be pretty heavy. So I wanted something solid and I wanted to spend not a whole lot of money. So I bought a solid core door insert and I've cut it down to the two cabinets. I'm gonna be attaching it to the cabinets with two inch angle brackets just to help secure that before I put the weight of the granite on top. Alright guys, so the workbench has been put together. All I need now is to set my stone on top. And I want to show you here, it's been raining all day in my backyard's mud pit. There's no way to get the skid loader down here. So for now, I'm just going to have to leave it the way it is. And in the future, I'll get the stone set on top. Thank you all for watching.